Hello guys and welcome to an exciting interview. I have with me uh, a wonderful personality from Ghana who is making Ghana very proud on, and putting Ghana on the map. He is a mechanical uh, engineer among other things and stick and stay when we get back we are going to talk to Dr. Thomas Mensa. Hello and welcome back. Doc, Akwaba. I'm here. I'm here. So, who are you? I'm here. I mean, I've been reading about you and all the amazing things you've been doing. Amongst all of that, what's the one thing that sticks out for you that you're most proud about? Well, I mean, if you're one of the four inventors of fiber optics mm -hmm. globally, and they call you the greatest mind of the 21st century because of that. Mm -hmm. So that fiber optics now, and my Ubiya send Facebook pictures, WhatsApp, Instagram, no, I'm very proud of it, that's one. And the thing that I'm doing in Ghana, Silicon Valley of Ghana, is another one. So when we talk about your involvement and your contribution to the fiber optics, how did it happen? Well, I mean, uh, fiber optics was developed in the lab. Mm -hmm. And he stayed in the lab for 15 years. He couldn't take it out of the lab and put it in industry. So they called MIT. I was there at MIT and said, oh, can you send me one of your brothers guys to come and help take it commercially? Mm -hmm. So I went to Corning Glassworks. And so within one year, something that has been in the lab for 15 years, within one year, solved the problem and moved the technology from the lab two meters a second to commercialization and industry at 20 meters a second so that we can make fiber optics cost you know, the same as mm -hmm. copper. Mm -hmm. So we replace all fiber optics in America, even in the whole world, copper-wise, with fiber optics. So what was the difficulty that made it stay that long for you? Well, to I, it played to my strength. Mm -hmm. So well, it, plays, it plays to my strength. There's something called a draw tower, which is uh, probably four story high. Mm -hmm. Well, now we have fiber optics and I have glass. Now, what do you check draw tower? No? Mm -hmm. Now, we use what is called radio frequency zirconia furnace to melt it and pull it down as taffy, just like a woman's hair. Mm -hmm. Once you pull it down, you should put a coating on it immediately, as it is going to break. And so that's how I solve it. Okay. I have seven inventions in six years on that whole process. Mm -hmm. From the furnace all the way to the laser measuring of the diameter of the fiber, all the way to the ultraviolet curing of, curing of the coating. So that, that's where it was breaking, and I solved it in one year. Fantastic. Oh. I mean, that's quite technical for some pe people who don't understand it. Yes. Uh, but Break it now to the lame, uh, what is fiber optics and what why is optics, it important? Yeah, yeah I, I mean, you know, fiber optics, you know, and your thin glass, very, very thin glass. So, you know, coating B, that's my invention, coating B one. You wind it on a spool. Now, in your television studio, the black cable, fiber optic shape. Mm -hmm. The fiber optics in your black cable allows you to have high definition television. Oh. And so that glass is purer than your eyeglasses. The glasses that the lasers are sending information on, mm -hmm. purer than that. We measure impurities, I mean, I am. By PPB, well, billion, <laughs> per billion, parts per so billion. Much. So, now, and so who person will send the Facebook pictures? Huh? Who person send that? Now laser pulses. And then the pictures no call. Into your call at the speed of light. Mm -hmm. Well, laser pulses is traveling at the speed of light, 186,000 feet per second. And to who person send your cell phone now? Now Facebook picture with China. Mm -hmm. Who person send your uh, uh, cell phone now? Now 
Facebook picture, Instagram, YouTube video, or South Africa. Who presses Sandia? No Wagadu. Who press Sandia? No Tambali. No Borga. No Kumasi. Well, that was the innovation. Because we knew we can send these pictures while the thing was in the lab. Mm -hmm. But when I made that possible, well, mm -hmm. so that the whole world, and that gave rise to Google, it gave rise to Amazon, it gave rise to Facebook. So, because if you take a picture mm -hmm. and it's still in your phone, nobody can like it. Mm -hmm. But my technology allow you. It's the basis of everything. Allow you, yes. And it created trillions of dollars for America. Mm -hmm. So, now do buy over here. So, why are the my America? So, come to Ghana and help mm -hmm. us. Great. Also, move Ghana Great. on a technological plane. Great. That's why I keep. So, what is the challenge, particularly for Ghana, in terms of advancing technology? I mean, what have you observed to be some of the drawbacks and what are the ways forward? Well, I've been sending a video of Morocco. Oh, Morocco is the new Dubai of Africa. Mm -hmm. They started off with high-speed train, mm -hmm. just like I've been pushing in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Once they got a high-speed train, now they have development investment they pour into Morocco mm -hmm. more than any other country. Let me see before the Dubai of Africa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, because it started with the train. So I've been pushing hard for the train, the fast train, mm -hmm. to come. And I'm credible. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Mm -hmm. We call Dubai and I'm the $3 billion at Bagana to support my projects, mm -hmm. you know, from, the, from, from UAE. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, me, uh, he, this, this, this month, Kuwaiti billionaire be ba as one of my financiers. Right. Well, and he, see, and yeah, it's, it's not a problem. It's a kind of problem. Mm -hmm. I you have to move quick. Before your involvement in this whole train system, I said, fantastic. Yes. In your mind, uh looking at it from when you got into now, yes. uh, where are we at and what should we Well, expect? unfortunately, we lost three years of, you know, because we couldn't do nothing. Mm -hmm. Well, the ban and the advice, he says, stop all these narrow gauge and old tracks. Mm -hmm. I gave that advice. They didn't take that advice. Mm -hmm. Spent half a billion to build in someone tree. Mm -hmm. Well, and so build the high speed. Forget about that. Just like Kenya did. Mm -hmm. So now, yeah, yeah. Let me the fiber optic sensor share alongside the tree mm -hmm. to control it, provide safety and all that. Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago, an engineer died on the sound sound tree yeah. because they don't have the fiber optics. Well, so that's what I'm pushing. And luckily, the new minister me. Peter, working very hard with us. Well, now innovation be a media but high speed train. The fiber optics is going to provide safety. We are working with Siemens on that. You control the trains, you know, even though it's going fast. Now, we would have, I told me with this, we will have very large screens, like the whole wall. Mm -hmm. Well, Nanado or Peter Mew can stand there and say, hey, mm -hmm. show me the train going to Wagadugu. Yeah, true. And then yeah. it comes up. You can even talk to the train driver. Mm -hmm. Say, mm -hmm. oh, Nana, go slow. Mm -hmm. With all that. Okay. That's innovation. Okay. Innovation. I like the way you are putting technology and making it practical and commercial. And uh, that's what your background has been. Uh, you cited the example of Kenya, for instance. Yes. And the Kenyans don't really have ownership over that train system. It's still very, it's like run by the Chinese for now at least. And uh, what would it take for us to have something that is ours independent? I was initially, you got to learn from whoever mm -hmm. is bringing the technology. Mm -hmm. I don't care what people are saying in Ghana. We don't mm -hmm. have it. Mm -hmm. We don't have the technology. So they took a woman, Obabesia, to China. Oba, I know, no, no, drive a train to Kenya. Oba, so I must say, it's take us, you know, some time to get there. Once mm -hmm. we master it, na niye ye, so all the controls and everything will be there. Okay. And so it's a bullet train, a high speed train, so important. Well, Kumasi Accra, mm -hmm. or Accra Kumasi one hour, instead of five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Accra Tamale, four hours instead mm -hmm. of twelve. Yeah. Well, we drew her. We are we are tourists. 
you are tired after mm -hmm. 12 hours. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, it's, it's so crazy. important that you learn by building the tracks and building the train and the coaches. You are learning, that's technology transfer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, yeah, we may even hire a million people. Well, that will make Ghana just like Morocco. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Make Ghana just like Morocco. Great. And you also talked about uh, the Silicon Valley yes. of Ghana. Yes. Uh, where does it exist and how is well, it? Well, when, when I first came, I, I said, oh, I got to create Silicon Valley of Ghana. Mm -hmm. So I went to Kofi Annan Center and mm -hmm. put the Silicon Valley there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't start building a building. It take years. So Kofi Annan ICT Center. We call her. And now, uh, uh, Minister of Communication. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Ursula. I said, okay, brah. You know, and so I put the technology there. I have 40 professors at Silicon Valley of Ghana. You know, I have all 30 lecturers teaching these kids. I'm teaching drones. I bring commercial drone and put it there and let the kids and the students and the youth see it. Mm -hmm. Well, the drone will be here for five things in Ghana. We will grow beer. It does precision agriculture, just mm -hmm. like Israel Prime Minister talks about. Mm -hmm. We will farm beer. The drone will fly five, five meters above your farm. So, and then when the, the farm needs water, it sends RF signals to turn on the sprinklers, even if it's not raining. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, to make the, the farm be productive. Now, Google, near year, Juma Bia, we can identify any disease on the tree, cocoa tree, swollen shooting. Mm -hmm. We can identify it. Near are raining insecticides right away mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, to solve it. And that's precision agriculture. Okay. Right now, we are serving about uh, 10 farms in Ghana mm -hmm. with that technology. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, XM Bank, my friend Boateng, mm -hmm. uh, they are looking at uh, supporting a lot of these, these things for farms in Ghana, mm -hmm. XM mm -hmm. Bank. Mm -hmm. But, and uh, the, 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 the financiers, I'll put them here, but the drone, another use, Minam did the whole idea of drone sending blood samples to Lobuchi. Mm -hmm. I brought it. Mm -hmm. I designed mm -hmm. drones for the Pentagon. Okay. That's how I thought about it. Many by and boom, say, oh, God, this is a great idea. So we have four centers mm -hmm. and send the blood to, to Mubuchi. Okay. Not only that, the drone can be used for security. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, well, technology will be a drone, so it will be in a van. And it will come out of the back of the back van. It is Kasua. I'm Robert Sinin Krofobi or Kasua near a baby, a kid baby. Near the drone, I could show. Oh, now I'm Robert Sojania. The drone, I could show. Well, Okoha, even Galamse. We can mm -hmm. use a drone to, to, to check the people doing Galamse. Video tape. But wouldn't say these are quite very far advanced for Ghana? Baby, uh, America. Could, uh, oh, we've been using, using it. We've using it. Oh, America. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, that, but to develop, you gotta have it here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your okay. drone, be sure. The drone can look. It has a spectrometer inside it. It can look down and check for minerals in 3D images. Oh, I'm okay. using that drone in some other country. Mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. be Baha. Now, you know, we are checking coltan, mm -hmm. the mineral that is used for cell phones. You're checking it in a couple of countries. Okay. You can look down, check for bauxite, check for uh, gold, check for anything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, because of the spectrometer on board. Okay. And the drone, no? and that's why I've be, been pushing it so much. Mm -hmm. well, safety, precision agriculture, drone for checking minerals on the ground. And my bidonier financiers, they're all excited about this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we're going to push it. We've got to change Ghana. Okay. Well, I'm me, 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 me search here up on you. I found out say we pretty much went to the same school, Bisado and Ken University. Yes. I'm knowing area about brothers in schools. Uh, but when you, I like the fact that you've gone back to education, putting up the Silicon Valley of, uh, of, of, of Ghana. Uh, what do you think is missing in terms of uh, education? You had the best of both worlds. You're in Ghana, you're yes. in the U U.S. as well. Yes. What 
must be put together so that uh, particularly around STEM yes. to make us ready to take yes. off for I even did a big program for Minister of Education. Mm -hmm. He used to be in California. He is running the ministry now. What's it, Doc, bra? We call him the drone. A call. So all the NTC and National te Teachers Training, whatever, they are all seeing drone. Mm -hmm. And we are putting P drone, practical mm -hmm. step, into the schools. That's what's needed. Mm -hmm. And your theory is too much. That's too much. Okay, one time Bina, somebody was teaching computer, you were drawing on the board. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and I told one of my advisors from Microsoft, and he sent him a real computer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. now, advisory board on me work Silicon Valley. Mm -hmm. It's so impressive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Advisory board, Minister of Communication wall. Now, we were five astronauts were advisory board. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Five astronauts. Well, even, even, even the astronaut that just came back with Jeff Bezos, mm -hmm. uh, oh, Kay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Miss Funk, she's on the board. You have to be invited to be on the board. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, what is the vision when they come on board, and what are you all collectively yes, working towards? Yes, yes, we are bringing the latest in technology innovation. If I don't know, I, I ask Isaiah. Mm -hmm. If I don't know, I ask Apple Computer. Mm -hmm. If I don't know, I, I ask. Uh, the, the lady who built 787 place mm -hmm. at Bowie. Mm -hmm. So, they get a, In fact, nobody, not even Silicon Valley or Rwan, nobody mm -hmm. has that. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. it's as competitive as Silicon Valley in America. Okay. And you're also the CEO for Aero... Georgia Aerospace. So, uh, what is the makeup of that? Uh, Oh, country. Georgia Aerospace uh, basically does aerospace. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I wrote a book on nanotechnology. Mm -hmm. The first mm -hmm. black guy to have a book that is used to teach PhD students mm -hmm. in nanotechnology. It's called nanotechnology commercialization. Well, so what is nanotechnology? In, <laughs> in very basic... Well, nanotechnology, mm -hmm. you know, uh, in that book I have two chapters. One mm -hmm. chapter is to make material set. Mm -hmm. The space shuttle, when it's going up, you see how it's burning at the bottom? Mm -hmm. We put the material yeah, in there so the space shuttle doesn't burn up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're doing it. That's in my book. So what is the aim for that? Is this uh, to reduce the, uh, carbon emissions or is it to make it go faster? What was the aim for, for that? All that, but the heat now. Mm -hmm. Well, space shuttle now quiet. Who say you're hot? Mm -hmm. ah. mm -hmm. We need material here, but burning up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's to protect it. We also use it for re-entry. So, all these are in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And nanotechnology has so many applications, even in medicine. Mm -hmm. Well, we can even be here. You can target one part of the body where the, 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 the suffering from, and the medicine can go there. Nanotechnology medicine can go there. Okay. So this is very, very serious. Mm -hmm. You know, God allow me to study all these areas. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know we don't have people, so I have to learn all these mm -hmm, areas and mm -hmm. become the best in these areas. Okay. So, my book no, is used in China, Australia, MIT, America, everywhere, mm -hmm. to teach PhD students. Me they are back Ghana. Well, ah, KNUST and some other universities, they are going to use it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, we want to change Ghana completely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, yes, Silicon Valley, no, as soon as I built it and put those Silicon Valley people on the board, immediately, guess what? Twitter has come to Ghana, put their headquarters mm -hmm. because of Dr. Mensah. Mm -hmm. Amazon has come to Ghana, put their headquarters because of Dr. Mensah. You know, Google AI, put in their headquarters here. Tia change Ghana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it seems a lot of things are in the works. Uh, in terms of legacy, already you've achieved so much, but narrowing down to Ghana, what would you? Want to leave behind for Ghana? Yeah, uh, I, I, I'm do even even um, now. I'm moving to change Africa. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm the one that proposed and designed the bullet train, Lumpatris Lumumba bullet train from DR Congo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as a gift in honor of Patrice Lumumba. Mm -hmm. Oh, they call Patrice Lumumba train gravitas. Mm -hmm. So. My raising money. How fast is that? Oh, it's, oh, <laughs> very, very fast. 
May the fiber optic sensor put on the line to improve connectivity, improve the train number, to say, Bruce, you're on your internet, you're on your kit, mm -hmm. well, safety. I've, I've done it. And so I think they will start building it in the first quarter of mm -hmm. next year. Okay. Lumumba Express, Lumumba mm -hmm. Train Gravitas. Mm -hmm. well, why? Because we are. Intercontinental free trade becomes meaningful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Without the fast trains, intercontinental free trade is not going, not going nowhere. Yeah, right. Because there will be other something in Niger, in Liberia. It's going to take months mm -hmm. to get it. True. Oh, you're in Europe, the other something, one day is there. Mm -hmm. So that's what the whole Africa, we should have eight of these trains. Mm -hmm. So that we can move things quicker. Mm -hmm. I say, oh, and then the infant ship would be. Mm -hmm. Oh, the ship here yeah, could ruha. You can't okay, go yeah. on the bad roads. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, oh, only, mm -hmm. only Rwanda has a better roads than any African country. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that poor roads is what is hurting us. But the train will solve all that. Yeah. So, I mean, what about back now? What, 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 what do you see as a challenge? Is it politi lack of political will or what is it? That's well, the political will is there, particularly uh, Nanado has put in a meu now. Well, mm -hmm. now, we should move faster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I've sent a video of Morocco. I've sent it all over the place. So people will see, oh, Morocco for? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, bullet train, hey, look mm -hmm. at what, I mean, you'll be shocked. Dubai of Africa. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. Ghana should be the same. Mm -hmm. But if you take our time walking slowly, if we do the things, that I'm pushing in Ghana, in Congo. Guess what? Africa, the sleeping giant, will wake, wake up. You gotta wake him up. Fantastic. I like that. On that note, uh, we're going to end this such interview. The giant, the sleeping giant, must wake up. Any final words you have uh, for our viewers? Oh, for our viewers, I think Ghana is going to be different. So near my year, you know, yeah, Ghana will be like Europe. We had him. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.